What is going on guys? Go share today. We are back on the real deal art. Pete link is in the description. And I just want to say that I will be uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 6 p.m. EST every week from now on. I changed my upload schedule a little bit, but there will always be a video and this gives me time to um, have some cool builds for us to do and everything like that. So make sure tune in Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Anyway, so today, in the last video, I was like, hey, should we do something to this Bronco? And a lot of y'all said, do the old school. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the old school. So we're going to take it back to the shop and everything. We're going to rip these axles out and everything. We're putting a straight axle in the front because I think it's got like that I-beam or whatever suspension. We're sitting around Leafs, and we're probably sitting around probably like 44s. Nothing, no uh, big style rim or anything. It's going to be more tired than rim. Really old school, and I think we're going to get rid of the, I want to get rid of this line right there. So we're going to do that and everything. So let's go ahead and head to the shop and do some work on this bad boy. Now I've been wanting, to, and we're going to do some exhaust work, but I've been wanting to, uh, you know, do like old school builds and everything because I love old school stuff. I think the old school stuff is like really cool, you know. Um, a lot of stuff now is, you know, more rimmed and tired and everything like that. So we got to bring that back, and especially leaf spring. A lot of stuff is like, you know, four link, which is good because, you know, it a lot of times four link flexes great, it rides better. But we're doing the old leaf spring, so we're going to get it to ride like a wagon. But that's okay. And these little tires here, it's gone. It is gone. I about passed that tractor. We about died. But anyways, we're going to go up here, and we're going to rip this thing apart. But first, I'm thinking I might end up painting this. I'm thinking I like the red and black, but I think we might do blue and like maybe a, like a silver top or something like that. I think that would look good so we're going to prime all this like um gray right now all of it gray and then we're going to rip it apart because you know somebody may have text me was that for this oh it's bob um we got to get some part orders in and everything i miss just bob after we get it up building this all right let's run up here we got to get some stuff um we need we need paint I think I need three things to paint. Let's go ahead and put that down. Run back down here. Woo! Haha, <laughs> America. Alright. Let's go ahead and slip. Now, a lot of y'all will say, well, I like the paint job. That's, or, you know, you just ruined it, whatever. Well, I really want to do kind of like a, a blue. I think blue and white would look good. Or blue and gray, you know, the top. I want to get rid of that middle line. Don't really care for it. So let's go ahead and we're going to slap it on the top on. Let's see, we're going to do it or uh, gray again. Quote, quote, this is kind of like our primer. <laughs> so, there we go. I actually kind of like that. I think that looks a little bit more sinister looking and everything. I don't know if I want to keep the... Uh, Red interior or not, we might actually get some interior paint and paint it and everything. But, let's go ahead and uh, get some leaves and everything. We'll sit this thing up on jack stands and stuff and see what we gotta do. We gotta pull the axles and stuff. I do know that. So, let me go over here and get my trusty, dusty toolbox. Bam. Time to do some work. You know when this toolbox comes out, ba -ba -ba boom There's work to be done. There we go. I dropped it. <laughs> I started taking some wheels off this sucker. All right, so I went ahead and got the leaves and everything on it. We got the old axles out. Check that out. We got the the dual the old school dual shock in the front and everything. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I just got them hanging there. Then we got the leaves and everything. They look pretty good. Now this thing with the axles and well, with the axles and wheels and stuff it should sit about this height so we're looking at a good substantial height difference and everything like that so yeah so i think i'm going to go ahead and slap in the rear axle and everything we'll roll in under and see what it looks like 
All right, I got the axle already tightened up and everything. Got like the, the shocks mounted and everything. I think it looks good. I think it's going to look real good. We got a little bit of lift block in the rear and everything. Not too bad. Now, this tire is just basically just like just sitting there. But this is the size tire we're going. Now, like I said, we're doing more tire than rim. This is that real old school like bogger look. And once we paint and stuff, it's going to look amazing. But this is a tire we're going with all the way around. We got germ brakes in the rear. Now, I could have swapped them out to um, rotors, but that would cost more money. I was like, let's just stick it on and just let it roll like it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll this tire back here, get the other one, slap them on the back, and we're going to slap the front axle in. And uh, I'm ready to get this bad boy, you know, ready to rock and roll. All right, well, I got the rear uh, bolted up and everything. Everything's good. Um, oh, this thing is just a little monster. Tell me that. Oh, yeah, this is screams 80s or 90s. All right, so we got the front up and everything. I know it's a pretty steep steering angle for the steering box. Uh, I need to get a bigger uh, drop-down pitman arm and everything. We could have went with hydraulic, but I just like, you know what, we use this. And we've got a pretty good... <laughs> It's a pretty good little uh, pitch on the dry shaft, so eventually you might have to do, uh, you know, like a, a big drop-down case or something on it. But we're going to run it like this. If we kill the, the joints, then we, we do it. But I want to grab the front tire, slap them on, get these jack stands out from under, and uh, see if they'll actually move under its own power, see if we broke anything. Or we will break stuff. I feel like we will break stuff, but you know how it is. All right, let me go get this other stuff. All right, well, I just uh, checked the oil and everything. We're good with the oil. And I actually welded up a uh, muffler under here. We, we, we switched out the, the muffler, so we should have a little bit more of a, you know, sound. That, that, yeah, there we go. <laughs> sound with it and everything. I was thinking, what can we do to make this look even better? And I was like, we should put step bars. So, we're going to go upstairs, see if we got any for this or anything. We might have to actually cut some down. And, uh, because I think we got them for, like, full-size truck. The old-school step bars, not, like, the the fold-out ones, but just the chrome wraparound ones. So, I want to see if we got any of those, and we might have to do some cutting with them. But, hey, it is what it is. All right, and there we go. Now, I had to weld, uh, cut them and weld them up a little bit. I had to grind, uh grind it and everything and make it look better probably had to send off to get a little bit uh the powder coat and everything but we got some step bars and everything you gotta hear this thing it actually sounds pretty good um later on might put a bigger motor or something in but listen to this thing well can i wait, go red for me there we go oh my gosh this thing is a little monster all right so now we need to slap a paint job on it. Let's, I think, let's see. Do I, ha I have one can on me? I have none. Okay, so we use them all. All right, let's go up here and grab some paint. I'm thinking a metallic blue with like a metallic silver. I feel like that would be pretty good. Top being metallic. And we'll do a metallic silver uh, uh, pearlescent. Because if not, it'll, uh, it'll be like a, a blue silver. If you, if you know what I mean. If not, okay. Alright, let's do metallic blue. I want like a really... Let's just do blue. I think that might be good. Hopefully this looks good. Now, I like the red, but I feel like we should do this. Now, the interior is going to be kind of a little bit different. Alright. I decided to actually go with like a, a, a bigger line instead of just like right there in the middle. There we do this because I know a lot of old school ones have this. Do I like the blue? I'm not really going to know until we pull out the sun. So let's go ahead and slap a silver. Uh, let's do a silver line, and we're going to paint the top silver. All right, and then I'm going to do a silver. Uh, Pearescent. For well, I came to speak. Pearescent. Uh, what? I want to do a silver thing, okay? I'm hoping that makes the blue pop a little more. I don't know about that red. We might have to end up changing it. Let's go ahead and pull it out and see what it looks like. Oh, 
All right, are we, are we good? Reverse works. I got brakes. All right, steering seems crappy. I'm probably gonna go across the road wobbling. All right, here we go. Let's pull this bad boy out and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, tell me this thing does not look amazing. This is a whole lot better than the other stocky. Like, yes. Bronco Overlord. I don't know. I actually really like this. I really kind of don't want to sell it. But if, if, if we get the right price, we'll definitely sell it. So I think... Huh, I'm trying to think. We, we need one more touch for this thing. And I know what we need. Now this really screams back in the day. So let me go get it. Stay right there, Bronco. Don't go nowhere. I think I have it over here. Oh, yeah. This is what we need. It's kind of heavy. It jingles. All right. Let's go ahead. And... All right. Look at that bad boy right there. You know we had to put the old school chain across. Now, if we had a chain like that on Mammoth, we could probably do pull-ups. Like, you know, just... Uh, uh. We could try. Or we could just use it as a as a swing and be like, wee! But anyways, look at that bad boy. I can step all that while I'm looking under the hood. Oh my gosh, this thing is so nasty. So nasty. Alright, let me go ahead and lock the door. We gotta take it for a ride. Um, I forgot how much fuel we even had in it. Well, we're pretty good. Oh my gosh. It don't even feel like you're really that high up. But then you're like, boom, check it out. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, my question is, do we have enough power to maybe pop a wheelie? No, we don't. We literally just, it was just bleh. All right. Oh, yeah. Now, this thing's <laughs> not meant to be a powerhouse. Or anything like that. She just meant to just cruise and go through deep water and mud holes. And you know who? I'm gonna have to get old Billy. I'm gonna have to be like, Billy, I gotta try the old Bronco. You're gonna have to bring something you out. You got out because he's all about the old, the old schools. So, yeah. Oh, well, I get, it actually gets kind of deep right there. It's like I don't want to sink it just yet, but I may have just ran over a boat. Oh! What if I can? What if this thing would water wheelie? Okay, I'm just gonna pop it right now. Oh, and no, we have like no power. We might have to regear this thing, but we've got ton of axles under it. Forty fours. Oh, I love it. This thing is nasty. I got. I got to park it somewhere. We got to put a picture on the old, the old squawk here later. Check that out. Oh my gosh. I mean, behind this. Here, let's call Bob. Be like, Bob, <laughs> look what we did. Somebody says somebody's toilet got bad. <laughs> All right, let me call Bob. Oh, Bob Arino, since he messaged me earlier. I wonder if I could we FaceTime him. Hola, Jimmy. I'll FaceTime him like this. Like. We connected. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, come on. There we go. There we go. Hey, what up? Sí, Not much. What are you doing? Adios. I was at the casino. Oh, you winning lots? <laughs> Uh, I won 10k. <laughs> oh, hey, let me borrow, like, 10k. Okay. <laughs> hey, check it out. Yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I took the old Bronco, and we put straight axles under it, leaves on it, and then, you know, put some 44s with old, uh, that old school look, you know? What are you in? Cool. I'm in my Ford. I'm... Oh, okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Alright, well, I see where you text me and stuff. I'm over at the shop, but uh, I'll let you go with everything. Holler at me later. We'll have to go uh, sink this bad boy. 
Okay, I mean, I'm always down of, of sinking something, so. <laughs> All right, man, you take it easy. Come okay, on. Later, dude. All right, I think you liked it. He's out there gambling. Is my phone, my phone is almost dead. I've got to charge my phone. <laughs> oh, that's what I get. All right, well, let's, hang on. There, there's a little hill here. I don't see any cops around. That's all I need is get pulled over. I'm like, sir, you know what we're doing for? Being awesome. Oh! <laughs> we have, like, no power. This is to the floor right now. She might not be fast, but she looks good. That's all I got to say. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of their uh, Bronco build. I think we made it look pretty good. Maybe the interior could be maybe like gray or black, so we might have to uh, dye the uh, seats and uh, you know the trim uh, pieces and everything inside. So let me know what you think. Let me know what we should build next. I, I really love this and everything. As always, this is Ghost, and I'm out of here. Woo! <laughs> Mark, baby!